Hello and welcome to Value Lightix. Today we are going to talk about one of the greatest investors of all time, Benjamin Graham. Benjamin Graham was an American economist, investor, and professor who is widely considered to be the father of value investing. His investment philosophy has influenced many famous investors including Warren Buffett, who was his student at Columbia University. In this video, we'll be taking a closer look at the life of Benjamin Graham and how he became the legendary investor that we know today. Benjamin Graham was born in London, England in 1894. His family immigrated to the United States when he was just one year old, settling in New York City. Graham's father died when he was just nine years old, leaving the family in financial difficulties. Despite these challenges, Graham excelled academically and eventually earned a scholarship to attend Columbia University. After completing his studies at Columbia, Benjamin Graham began his career on Wall Street in 1914, working as a clerk for the Neuberger, Henderson & Loeb brokerage firm. He quickly distinguished himself as a talented analyst, with a keen eye for finding undervalued stocks. In 1923, he co-founded the Graham Newman Corporation, a partnership with his colleague Jerry Newman. At Graham Newman, Graham began to develop his own investment philosophy, which he later refined and popularized in his books. Graham believed that investors could generate superior returns by focusing on the intrinsic value of a company rather than its market price. He looked for companies that were trading at a significant discount to their intrinsic value, with a margin of safety that would protect investors from potential losses. He believed that investors should take a long-term perspective and avoid short-term market fluctuations. He encouraged investors to be patient and disciplined in their approach, focusing on the underlying value of the companies they were investing in. Graham's investment approach was a departure from the prevailing wisdom on Wall Street at the time, which focused more on speculation and short-term trading. However, his approach proved successful, and the Graham Newman Corporation generated impressive returns over the years. Graham continued to work on Wall Street until the mid-1950s when he retired from active investing to focus on teaching and writing. Benjamin Graham's investment philosophy was centered around the concept of value investing. He believed that investors could generate superior returns by focusing on the intrinsic value of a company rather than its market price. Graham believed that the stock market was often irrational and that investors could take advantage of this by purchasing undervalued companies. Graham's approach to investing involved a thorough analysis of a company's financial statements and fundamentals, including its earnings, assets, and liabilities. He looked for companies that were trading at a significant discount to their intrinsic value, with a margin of safety that would protect investors from potential losses. Graham also emphasized the importance of diversification and avoiding market speculation. He encouraged investors to be patient and disciplined in their approach, focusing on the underlying value of the companies they were investing in rather than short-term market fluctuations. Graham's investment philosophy was influenced by his experiences during the Great Depression, which taught him the importance of risk management and the need for a margin of safety in investing. His philosophy proved successful over the years, and his investment firm, Graham Newman Corporation, generated impressive returns for its investors. Graham's investment philosophy has had a profound influence on the field of finance and has inspired many other successful investors, 
including Warren Buffett, who has often cited Graham as one of his most important mentors. Today, value investing remains a popular investment approach, and Graham's books, including The Intelligent Investor and Security Analysis, are still widely read and studied by investors around the world. The Intelligent Investor, which was first published in 1949 and is still considered a classic in the field of finance and has been influential in shaping the investment strategies of generations of investors. The book is essentially a guide to investing, and it lays out Graham's investment philosophy in detail. The central theme of the book is the importance of value investing and the need to focus on the underlying fundamentals of a company rather than its market price. Graham argues that investors should approach the stock market with a long-term perspective and avoid speculation and market timing. He emphasizes the importance of conducting thorough research and analysis before making any investment decisions and provides practical advice for investors on how to evaluate companies and analyze financial statements. One of the key concepts in the book is the idea of a margin of safety. Graham argues that investors should only invest in companies that are trading at a significant discount to their intrinsic value, providing a margin of safety that protects against potential losses. He also advises investors to diversify their portfolios to reduce risk. The intelligent investor has had a profound influence on the field of finance and has inspired many successful investors including Warren Buffett, who has often cited the book as a major influence on his investment philosophy. The book is still widely read and studied by investors around the world, and its principles remain relevant and valuable for investors today. Later in his life, Benjamin Graham shifted his focus away from active investing and began to focus on teaching and writing. He became a professor at Columbia University, where he taught finance and investments, and he continued to write books and articles on investing. One of his most famous students at Columbia was Warren Buffett, who went on to become one of the most successful investors in history. Buffett was deeply influenced by Graham's investment philosophy and became a strong proponent of value investing. Graham continued to write and publish books throughout his life, including The Intelligent Investor and Security Analysis, which are widely regarded as classics in the field of finance. He also wrote a number of articles and papers on investing, many of which are still cited and studied today. In addition to his work as an educator and writer, Graham also continued to be involved in the financial industry. He served on the board of directors for several companies and was a mentor to many young investors and analysts. Graham passed away in 1976 at the age of 82, but his legacy as a pioneer in value investing and his contributions to the field of finance continue to be celebrated to this day. He is widely regarded as one of the most influential figures in the history of investing, and his ideas and principles have inspired countless investors around the world. Graham's legacy lives on through his books and the many investors who continue to follow his investment principles to this day.